Hi, I'm Dan Liebel, a senior consultant at Stone Ridge Software, discussing Introduction to Manage Reporter. In this session, we'll be covering Creating and Generating Reports, Part 3, The Web Viewer. In the previous session, in Part 2, I ended with the Web Viewer displayed, and I was going to just pick up, but realized that I didn't do it with all reporting units, so I wouldn't be able to show some of the tree features. So we're going to go ahead and regenerate that. We'll click Select All to mark all of the business units. And then I'll click OK, and we'll wait. Um, this report usually runs for about 30 seconds, so I'll speed it up. So here's our report in the Web Viewer mode. It's uh, supported by most browsers. Um, use an Internet Explorer in, in this case, but it will work with uh, Firefox, uh, Chrome, uh, I believe Safari as well, uh, and pretty much anything except for Microsoft Edge at, at the timing of this uh, the recording. Here's the image that we loaded. Um, if you have sat through the other parts um, in getting this created, um, and then the title as we identified, and then you'll notice the buttons across the bottom. So let's start with the reporting tree. When we did business units and we selected all units, um, and whatever units would have information would sit in this uh, window. So we could just by clicking on home, we can view. Uh, the home, and then it shows in the label what business unit that you're a part of. I could also see the auto as the business unit that it shows. I can also click the back button to go back to where I was, and then again it's a summary of all units. I can also double click on numbers to see the breakdown, and this is because I did the financial account and transaction is the as the type that I want, or the detail level that I wanted on this report. So if I click on the sales, I can see a breakdown to the home and auto. And if I want to click, go deeper into the home, I can see what makes up that 2.8 million in there. And if I wanted to see what made up that 1.553, um, it allows me to drill to report transaction level or open it up in Microsoft Dynamics. All right, let's first try the re drill to report transaction level. So if I double click on that and select report transaction level, it'll open up another window with all of the GL entries that were made to that sales account um, under those under that financial dimension with those financial dimensions. So that makes up the uh, the 1.53. So let's go back. So now that we're back, let's. The other option would be to open up in Dynamics. So if you had AX open, which I don't at the current time, and we'll maybe try it with the uh, Management Reporter viewer to drill back, because you can also drill back from that viewer. Uh, it would open up the voucher transaction inquiry to the same window with the same information that you had with the uh, report transaction level. So let's move along with the, the buttons along the bottom. The report options allows you to change the base years. So let's um, let's first uh, cancel. Let's go back to our main window, our main report, I should say, um, report option. So let's try changing it. Say we wanted to do it for November. I think we have data there as well. So we'll give it a minute to, or a few seconds to refresh. It still goes out and looks at all of your data, pulls stuff from that data mart. So, so we have here's our November. Now we have November in there, and we can still do the same drill downs as we did in the previously. So, it still gives that same capability. The refresh will do that just that. It'll just refresh the report. So maybe you made an entry in the GL and you needed to. Um, take a look at that entry. You won't, wouldn't have to regenerate. You can just refresh and it will pull that entry in. Uh, the publish is if you needed to publish it publish it to an intranet or a, or a SharePoint site. That's if you have that multiple locations or one of your multiple, if your locations um, where your, your output location is a SharePoint or an intranet site, then you need to publish it there. The go to will allow you to go to a specific um, area of the report. So if you have a very lengthy report, multiple pages, you can highlight one of those areas and then it will pull you to that specific section of it. 
the currency allows you to republish it in a different currency if you wanted to. Uh, if that currency is assigned to that company or if it's a reporting currency, then it will. Uh, that it's, uh, the listing of the currencies in this window would be the, all the currencies that you would be able to display it in. The show allows you to select different uh, areas of the report. So the, the header and footer show by default, but if you wanted to do charts and comments, for example, you can add comments to a specific thing, let's say, um, so let's say November sales look good. Or maybe you would go to a specific expense line and say this seems to be out of line with the year-to-date percentages. So for example, on our manufacturing expenses, it looks like November was a good month because 18% of the it's down from 18% down to 14.3%. So expenses were down a few percent. That probably helped contribute to the bottom line. So you can hit save. And then what that does is it gives you a balloon um, to the left of sales so that you can identify that there's a comment there or to end users. Um, the zoom will just do that. So um, the zoom that you see in Excel and Word, etc., is the same kind of Excel. If you if the numbers are very small, you can make it a larger percentage so that you can view it better. The download will allow you to go to Excel or XPS and the normally you can do management reporter in this selection, but I think this might be an older build, so um, it could that should be there, and then you could export it to a management reporter viewer or MR viewer. Um, otherwise, you can select to go to Excel or XPS viewer. The one thing to note about the Excel and XPS exports is that it any um, drill back ability that you have with the viewers um, would be lost if you go to those. It, it does is a way to distribute reports to you end users, but on the flip side, it also um, you lose that drill back ability. You, if you do to financial account and transaction as I did in this, you would be able to you know have different tabs with all of the information. So you would have that information available, but it would you, you wouldn't be able to drill back to AX. The other thing to note between the difference of the two is if it's in an Excel, then numbers can be changed. Um, so that's one thing to probably make note of um, as an FYI or put some kind of security onto Excel so that they cannot be edited.